This episode is sponsored by Hook Relay. If you integrate your apps with third parties like Stripe, GitHub, Slack, or Trello, you'll want quality webhooks that's more than just sending a JSON payload to your customer's URL. Hook Relay is a service that makes sending and receiving webhooks reliable, secure, and transparent automatically. You can watch your traffic, inspect each request, and much more. It's like X-ray vision. Without Hook Relay, you have no idea of how many requests you're processing. Of course, if your app or your integration partners are being flaky, you'll love the peace of mind that comes with knowing that no matter what happens, Hook Relay will make sure that your webhooks are delivered. Go to hookrelay.dev to get started and get reliable webhooks for your app in minutes, not days. In this episode, we're going to create a markdown parser, so as we type different things, we'll see it automatically pop up on the right-hand side in the parsed format. And this will support most of the markdown syntax. So we can do something like a title, a subheading. If we wanted to make something bold, we can do that as well. Or italics. And we can even have little code blocks. And so once we save this topic, and we go to the show page for it, we'll see it show up and parsed. And the nice thing about this approach is that we are taking a very minimalistic look. So if you're not wanting to do something like action text, but you do want markdown, and you don't need all of the features that action text has with the image uploads, then this could be a viable solution. And if your application ever does get the need for images, then you would be able to add in this kind of functionality, similar to what we have done in past episodes. And here I've thrown together a kitchen sink sort of for the markdown syntax, where we have a lot of different examples, and as you can see, it's all rendering out fairly nicely. Of course, we can update the topic and see those rendering out nicely as well. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.